the U.S. has embarked on a comprehensive and significant refurbishment of the nation's nuclear deterrent. This will maintain its safety, security, and effectiveness. It's a program known as Stockpile Modernization. The 2018 U.S. Nuclear Posture Review states that until nuclear weapons can be eliminated from the world, the U.S. will have modern, flexible, and resilient nuclear capabilities that are safe and secure. The priority is to protect the U.S., its allies, and partners through the stockpile's value as an effective deterrent. The guiding pillars for U.S. nuclear deterrence policy and requirements listed in the NPR are to deter nuclear and non-nuclear attacks, assure allies and partners, achieve U.S. objectives if deterrence fails, have the capacity to hedge against an uncertain future, and prevent proliferation and deny terrorist access to finished weapons, materials, or expertise. Our nuclear deterrence role at Sandia National Laboratories is to serve as a systems integrator for U.S. nuclear weapons. Sandia develops and qualifies the thousands of non-nuclear components and parts in nuclear weapons, integrating them with the nuclear explosives package and military hardware. Sandia does this to the highest standards of quality, driven by always, never that weapons must always work when commanded and authorized by the President of the United States and must never work under any other circumstances. U.S. nuclear weapons must also withstand extremely complex and harsh environmental conditions over decades-long lifetimes, coupled with a potential instant readiness requirement, and they must meet the utmost confidence for presidential command and control. This is a role enabled by the lab's world-class weapons engineering and systems integration, underpinned by deep science, technology, and research, the foundation of all Sandia's national security work. Sandia's current stockpile modernization program encompasses six major programs, representing its largest scope of work in decades. This work spans Sandia's multiple sites and is scheduled to continue into 2040. Sandia is partnering with the U.S. Air Force to address identified end-of-life issues for the B-61 group of weapons. Sandia is modernizing obsolete technology to replace these aging weapons which includes some of the oldest in the U.S. stockpile. The B-61-12 modernization consolidates four modifications into a single configuration, which dramatically reduces the amount of special nuclear material. It also significantly simplifies the military's logistics and maintenance and addresses compatibility interfaces with future aircraft delivery platforms. Sandia is successfully completing the B-61-12 modernization program, which includes development, qualification, and production engineering activities. This replacement will provide a safe, secure, and reliable U.S. gravity bomb for decades to come. The W-88 Alteration 370 or Alt-370, is a key project for the nation. The W-88 Alt-370 focuses on replacing the arming, fusing, and firing system, which entered the stockpile in late 1988. Fuse is a warfighter word indicating a weapon's detonation point on its ballistic trajectory. Two Sandia modernization teams, the W-88 Alt-370 and Mark-21 Fuse Replacement, highlighted next, have cooperatively worked together for the benefit of both. They have ensured that the two arming and fusing assemblies meet their independent system safety and reliability requirements while leveraging technologies between the Sandia modernization efforts. 
This leverage design approach has had direct benefits for the Mark 21 fuse, resulting in significant cost savings for the program. The U.S. Air Force determined that the long-standing Mark 21 fuse needed replacement, and they selected Sandia to complete this program. Currently, a variety of test flights and other activities are being completed. The first production units will follow in the next few years. In partnership with the U.S. Air Force, Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, and NNSA production agencies, Sandia is modernizing the W-80 warhead for delivery on a new, long-range, standoff cruise missile. The new missile will replace the air-launched cruise missile, which is nearing the end of its service life. The W-80-4 program represents the first time in more than two decades that warhead modernization and new missile development have occurred concurrently. The W-80-4 includes nuclear and non-nuclear refurbishment to ensure a minimum design life of 30 years. The modernization effort underscores Sandia's commitment to innovation through utilization of advanced manufacturing technologies, such as additive manufacturing. The program leverages expertise across the organization. As with all Sandia modernization programs, Achieving delivery on schedule and within budget are driving principles of our W80-4 Life Extension Program. The program is moving through the early design, cost, and development phases. Sandia is developing the Mobile Guardian Transporter, the MGT, which includes the design, testing and qualification of third generation over-the-road secure transportation system. The MGT will replace an aging safeguards transporter. These vehicles transport weapons that are part of our nuclear deterrent while in Department of Energy custody. Sandia is uniquely qualified to provide the knowledge and expertise to secure our stockpile while in transit. Through extensive modeling, simulation, and testing, our vision is to deliver safe and secure transportation systems to defend against evolving threats. The W76-1 Life Extension Program extends the originally designed W76-0 warhead service life of 20 years to 60 years. This U.S. Navy system was introduced into the stockpile in 1978. The W76-1 modernization helped reinvigorate the nation's nuclear deterrent production capability for submarine-launched re-entry weapons. With no full-scale underground nuclear testing, the program has achieved system qualification through computer modeling and simulation and non-nuclear component testing. And it has been the first modernization system to realize a significant cost savings by using radiation tolerant commercial off-the-shelf components. Sandia is also responsible for the reliability and safety evaluation of every active U.S. nuclear weapon type in the stockpile. It documents these findings in an annual letter from Sandia's director. This assessment helps inform the U.S. military strategic command and the President of the United States on the overall condition of the nation's nuclear deterrent. The 2018 Nuclear Posture Review highlights that global threat conditions have worsened markedly over the last decade. This includes increasingly explicit threats from potential adversaries. Sandia's modernization of the stockpile, along with the recapitalization of our aging capabilities and infrastructure, is part of an essential U.S. mission to prepare and protect our nation within this uncertain and dynamic global future. Sandia will continue to use innovative engineering and science to anticipate and counter these evolving threats, delivering on our core mission 
of nuclear deterrence.